Greetings, scholars. I am Ms. Malacky, the second grade ELA and humanities teacher at Fortune School. I hope you finished majority of your assignments already as we are now finishing up our packet and getting ready to submit it to our teachers this Friday. Happy Thursday, scholars. So let's go ahead and dive into the text one last time so that way we can answer our writing prompt. Now, what I would like you to do is read the story one last time so it's fresh in your brain. And that way we know all the information and some details that we might have missed from our last two readings uh, this time around. So go ahead and pause the video Read the mysterious tadpole one last time, and then come back so we can start our writing response. And go. All right, welcome back, scholars. Let's go ahead and jump down to our writing response. This is your time to make sure you have everything completed in your packet so you can turn it in on Friday to your teacher. So here we go, make sure everything's completed. So first thing, before we begin our writing response, we need to identify the CI. Can you tell me what CI stands for? And go. Did you say central idea? Excellent job. Can you tell me what the central idea is? The overall D idea? Did you say Lewis loves his pets or Lewis loved his pet Alpho, Alphonse? If you did, excellent job. Go ahead and write or type what the central idea is. Some of you might have yours worded a little bit differently, but I would like you to attempt to identify the central idea by yourself. Now let's scroll down to the short response. Prompt, describe how Lewis felt about Alphonse. How do you know he felt that way? Use examples from the text to justify your answer. Annotating the prompt. This is where we brainstorm and we unpack the prompt. So describe how Lewis felt. How did Lewis feel? So use this box to tell me how Lewis felt and then how do you know how he felt? Can you go back into the text and tell me where did you find that information? And then use examples from the text to justify your answer. Excellent. So you need to tell me how did he feel? How did you know? And what were the examples? So one way to start this out in brainstorming is I like to use bullet points just like that. So I click the little three dots right here where it says bullets listed. And that way I can just make some quick notes. Um, this one I'm not going to be too worried uh, about looking at punctuation or capital letters just because it's your notes. They're quick notes. So how did Lewis felt about Alphonse? He loved him. He always wanted a pet. How do you know he felt this way? You can say, I looked at the text. According to the text on page, use examples to justify your answer. So you really need to go into the text and give me examples. And you can list the examples here. When you're done listing your examples, you need to do a race response. So I'm gonna put it in my brainstorming, uh, my annotating part where I'm brainstorming, what exactly I want. So we have a R-A-C-E. So everyone, I want you to know, remember R stands for restate the question. A, answer the question, C, cite the source, and E, explain 
So in here, you can do your R, A, C, E, but when you get to this part, the gray box, I want it all in a paragraph. No R, no A, no C, no E. I want it all in a nice paragraph flowing so you're just gonna start typing and telling me. But for here, this is where you can figure out what your R is, what your A is, what your C is, and what your E is before you put it in a nice paragraph in the gray box. So for example, let's go ahead and look at our R. Describe how Lewis felt about Alphonse. So you can say, Lewis loved Alphonse a lot. And then you can keep going on and answer next. But notice when I get down to here, I'm not going to put the R. I'm just going to start typing what I wrote. Lewis loved Alphonse a lot. And then I will continue on moving through my writing response. Then you would do A, C, E. And remember, C has a sentence starter. According to the text on page dot dot. And that will help you list your examples. So you want to list two examples. So I should see this twice. And then explain. Tell me, what does this mean? So this would probably be a good time for a sentence starter saying, these examples show that, and that's how you relate it back to your text while explaining. So I want you to try to do the rest on your own. Use this box to, to identify your R, your A, your C, your E, but then use this box to write your own paragraph or type. I'm sorry, I keep saying write. It's type your paragraph nice and neat so you don't have the R, the A, the C, E. This is just notes to help you. And here is where you give me the final copy or the final revision, all right? So I want you to try this by yourself. If you have any questions, please utilize your, uh, your teacher's office hours. We're always online. Someone is always there to help you. All right, last but not least, don't forget to submit your work in Google Classroom so you can get credit. See you next time. Bye, scholars.